Got another set of questions on the acids, bases and pH topic, so up to number 12. If you want to try them first, the link to the questions in the description of the video. Okay, so a weak acid is a proton donor, obviously that's the acid bit, which partially dissociates. Expression for the acid dissociation constant of ethanoic acid. So you can see I've written up the dissociation equation there. So you've got to write this in full. You can't do the abbreviated version with your H plus concentration squared over concentration of ethanoic acid. It has to be all of the formulae. Okay, next one. So we've got to calculate the pH of this concentration of propanoic acid. So just make sure you use the right Ka value. Very similar formulae, so I think it could be an easy mistake to make. H plus concentration of a weak acid, square root of Kaha. So it's just the Ka from the table, multiplied by the original concentration of the acid. Once you've got your H plus concentration, minus log that, and that gives you the pH. So the two decimal places, the pH is 3.22. Next one, we've got to complete the, this equation for the equilibrium between um, propanoic and ethanoic acids and then label up the conjugate acid base pairs. You'll notice I've written the Ka values above the two acids, so we need that to establish which is the stronger acid of the two. So the higher the Ka value, the more dissociated it is, therefore it's the stronger acid. So you can see that ethanoic acid is the stronger acid with its higher Ka value. So it's going to donate its proton to the propanoic acid. So there's the equation written up. So we'll just label up the acid-base pairs. I'll just highlight those two first. That's one of the pairs. So ethanoic acid's donated its proton. So acid 1, we'll call it. And therefore, the ethanoid ion must be the base of that pair. So that's base 1. Obviously, there's the other pair in red. So propanoic acid is, is a base, acting as a base. So we'll call that base 2. So the other ion there on the right, the red one, is the acid of that pair. So that's acid 2. So part B switches to Bronsted-Lowry bases. So the definition of a Bronsted-Lowry base is a proton acceptor. You could put H plus acceptor there. So the calculation now for the mass of barium hydroxide. So I've already written up the calculation to get the moles of barium hydroxide that would be in that solution. Concentration times volume. Remember that volume's got to be in decimeters cubed. So that's how many moles of barium hydroxide are needed. So we just need to work out the MR of barium hydroxide, multiply by the moles to get the mass in grams. So that's coming out at 5.35 grams. And finally, the pH calculation for this solution of barium hydroxide. pH of a strong base or strong alkali, so we use the KW expression. We rearrange for H plus concentration, so we can obviously minus log to get the pH. So the H plus concentration will be KW over the hydroxide ion concentration. So we'll just talk about this equation here. The barium hydroxide has that concentration. The hydroxide ion will be double that from the sort of the way it dissociates, the 1 to 2 ratio. So numbers wise, H plus concentration is the KW value, so we're assuming it's 25 degrees C. There's been no mention of temperature. So 1 times 10 to the minus 14 over 0 0.25, remember, 2 times that. So the H plus concentration is that many moles per decimeter cubed, so we just need to minus log that for the pH. So the pH comes out at 13.40 to two decimal places.